stop loss is going to be somewhere below here. So around 10 pips below this point. So 1.17935 should be the, the part that you want to look to go into the market if you're patient enough. And then your stop loss should be about uh, 10 pips below that should be sufficient. Right now, if price doesn't seem to be moving around here, I would go for here. I mean, the most beautiful thing is the trend line is already showing us where we should go for it. Funny enough, the 50 moving average is around that line. So we can use that as a dynamic support to go into this trade. So price pulls back to around the 50 moving average. And we use this about a dynamic support to go in. So what I'm expecting is if, if market opens, market should gap a little bit downwards. If market gaps a little bit down, it gives us a playing field. But if the market does not gap down, then there's a possibility that price might not get here before price start moving up. So um, in that case, you might have to chase it. And if you're chasing it, um, what will happen is uh, we would have to use indicator. So um, let me just see if I can. Uh, GBPCHF. Um, just want to load it up right here and just get an indicator to cover that up. Okay. And then, um, let me see what's going to you. So what you want to do when, um, Okay, let me just put down GPCHF. Now, what we want to do is this. We're going to go on the 15 minutes quickly. When price, uh, and this is how I recommend you trade anyway. You know, if you're focusing on one trade at a time, just load it up on two screens so you have, uh, you know, a full view of it. And, you know, you trade that way. So when you're expecting, when you're expecting price to open, right? If price gets somewhere around here on the four hours, right? Check your 15 minutes time frame, or if you if you feel like you want to take massive risk, look for a buy arrow. So once price hits this line and price started moving back up, and make sure your 50 moving average it's also touched your 50 moving average simultaneously. Maybe your 50 moving average might be here, might be somewhere above it, but it must hit your 50 moving average plus your trend line, then wait for the buy signal. Only when you get a buy signal, when it hits that spot, you should go in and your stop loss will be below the buy signal. Now, if you want, you know, if it hits here and price seems to be moving up and this buy signal doesn't show on time and you feel like, okay, this thing might be going, I want to get the best entry for myself. You're allowed to go on five minutes and look for the buy signal on five minutes. Never go to one minute, just no point. Five minutes has a lot of noise, but if you get it right, you'll be good. So if you get it right, like something around here, you'll be good. So what you do is wait and see the buy signal. Once you see the buy signal, always keep in mind, anytime, you know, price gives a buy signal, most of the times anyway, it gives the buy signal, price always comes back into that zone. So just like here, price gave a buy signal, price came back into that zone. Price gave a sell signal, price came back into that box. So sometimes, even if you miss the buy entry, by your next candle or the candle after that, price is always going to retest that zone, in most cases anyway, and you can go in. So if you miss the first one, you can go in when price retest and move away from it. Or I would ideally suggest, you know, when you get the signal, wait for price to move away and then come back to it then buy okay so i would want to go in right here but just in case you know because all the indicators are pointing all the fundamentals are pointing that price is going to move most likely tomorrow so in that scenario what will happen is i would wait and see price retest i won't go in on the 200 moving average in most cases now unless if i see price moves away heavily uh there's a massive buy candle then i check in a five minutes or 15 minutes for entry from here or use my PZ support and resistance level to depict the, the perfect entry for myself anyway. And then my stop loss will be about 10, 15 pips below that. Depending on what account size you have. If you have a big account size, you can risk more. If you have a very small account size, do not risk more than 10 to 
20 pips maximum in terms of your stop loss and then you just go in for that buy and uh, uh and that's basically how i approach this you wait for this to come down you know ideally somewhere around here and then buy it might not do this on monday it might do this on tuesday but wait and if you can't wait only go in on your moving averages okay is there any question regarding this trade is there anything i, I think i didn't touch No questions. No questions. Man, you are holding that gold uh, trade or not? I'm holding gold, man. I mean, oh, oh. I'm holding. Yes. I'm holding gold, man. I got in somewhere around here. You know, I took some profit around here uh, for the first one. I think I took a, some profit around here and price came back down. I think I have a second entry somewhere around here. It's GP USD. Oh, no, this is gold. Gold? Uh, oh, why does it say GPUSD? Oh, no, on my screen, I'm looking at go. Are you guys seeing GBPUSD? I'm seeing GBPUSD on the 15 minute. That's what it shows on my screen. Oh, wait, hold on. Who else is seeing GBPUSD? Top left. Mm, no, this is GBPCHF. I've not opened GBPUSD today. So this is GBPCHF, Bowen, Airbus, Gold. Can anyone else see GBPUSD? Yeah, by the left. It shows the top left, but it shows at the bottom. that. Oh, no, 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 no. Ignore this, guys. Ignore this. This is just a template. This is Gold. Oh. This is Gold. <laughs> just ignore this. It's always going to say GBPUSD and everything. Everything I load that template on, it's gonna say GBPUSD. Okay, that that's that's not no no that's not GPU. It's gold, guys. Um, so basically, um, uh, gold. Um, we spoke about this last week, and it was expected. It's just it's just a shame that the the Air Boss and the the Boeing hasn't moved the way it's meant to move yet, and I can understand why it's in doing that because. There seems to be, you know, uh, still pressure on the coronavirus. So the airlines are still falling. So I can't really fault that, to be quite frank. But in regards to gold, since there's still panic out there, gold will keep going up. Anytime there's panic, gold goes up. If there's war panic, goes, gold goes up. Yeah. Uh, gold, gold, why, why gold is going so up? Because like uh, in monthly and weekly, I am seeing divergence in gold. Bearish divergence, bro. Everyone is running to a safe haven. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, everybody's going. So to mean, safe haven. means like when the coronavirus situation is uh, 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 means cooling down, the gold will go down. Yes, gold will fall. Yeah. 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 So, but from from what I'm looking at, gold might fall around September. But some people are estimating. I mean, in the UK, there might be a second wave of coronavirus in October. So in which case, yeah. we might see the highest gold has ever gone in years. I mean, right now, gold is almost at its highest. This was the highest yep. it has ever been. Uh, 1,932. 1, uh, and then gold is going to go way higher than this, if we're not careful. 1,932. Yeah. Gold might touch 2,000. That's the funny thing this okay. year. Gold might touch 2,000 this year. So since it's broken out of this zone, gold just keeps going. It just keeps going and going and going. So okay. in, in that respect, the main reason gold keeps going up is just a pandemic. The pandemic is causing yes. massive fear out there. And most people, yes. Are, yes. Um, you know, most investors are scared. Because if you look at it, most of the stocks, right, except from some like Amazon, you know, Facebook and the, and the tech companies, most of the other ones are going down. It's then, uh, you know, Morgan Stanley, all of that is going down because there isn't much movement in the economy. The, the economy right now, the funny thing is, it's weird that the economy isn't breaking yet because everyone is still printing money. The economy is going to break. There's no way. I, 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 I have, I have uh, read an article in uh, like uh, MT4. Yeah. So it was showing US, US uh, second coronavirus wave 
will uh, will uh, means they destroy US economy. It's most likely going to happen. And that's the funny thing about it. Uh, if if dollar if dollars go down, gold will automatically go up. Gold gold go to a new height, and I think that would be where cryptocurrency yeah. will be reintroduced. Cryptocurrency will come back into yes. play majorly because if the dollar if the dollar goes down, a lot of currency will go down with the dollar. Yeah. Actually, a whole lot of currency will go down with the dollar. There's gonna be massive loss in the market. So for that reason. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out that the economy won't crash. I mean, it's quite unfortunate. And, and the funny thing is most of these brokers will lose power anyway because they won't be able to pay out the money and people won't be able to shut the market in certain, uh, in certain scenarios. So, but right now, there's fear around the world. And, and that's why gold keeps going up. There is fear. There's real fear around the world and gold is going up. Forget the people you've seen online that are partying. The investors are scared. You know, people are not willing to diversify their funds right now. A lot of people have lost billions, you know, and a lot of countries have lost trillions of money. So uh, that's one thing we have to always keep in mind up now. Like, you don't want to be in the next fish in a big pond because the market is going to just chew you up if you don't do the right thing. So in, in this scenario, um, I still want to focus Many, on many, many, many brokers will uh, go out of the market. Yes, yes. That, that would when happen. gold will go uh, uh, to the new high, yeah, that's most likely going to happen. But I don't because I don't because see because if that. if someone has buy buy gold around fourteen hundred and fifteen hundred, and they have kept it to twenty two thousand, so most likely like the standard lots, they'll 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 earn lakhs of dollars. Yeah, I mean, even if you bought here with one lot, I mean, the, the, the amount you have made will, will still be sufficient enough. Yes. I mean, one lot around here should be earning about 200,000 plus. Yes. So over here, I mean, imagine once you start, you know, once you, if you bought around here and price got here on this day mm -hmm. and you're able to get price entry around here, you could, you could literally kill the market. Yes. Kill the market every time the price bounce back and retest buy buy. So, but whatever it is, man, I see gold going higher. If so the coronavirus stuff doesn't stop, gold is gonna keep going higher. So I, I want to capitalize on gold as well. So if anything at all, I want to go into gold around. Um, but when gold will fall, but when gold will go on short, so no one can handle that thing. Yeah, when gold goes down, which if that's the if the economy recovers fully, yes. then um, yeah, there will be a lot of money to be made. Yep, there'll be a lot because so many people are selling gold right now. That's the funny thing. People are selling gold right now. A lot of people yeah. are selling gold right now. But the, the funny thing is, gold will keep going up. Gold will keep going up. And remember, yes. whenever you make money, someone loses money. So you're yep. taking the yep. money of someone else. So right now, yes. they need more people to sell anyway. So they're going to most likely <laughs> hype. They're going to hype the sell of gold very soon. A lot of people are going to hype it. That gold is going to go down. And what's going to happen is gold will keep going up until they start hyping the buy. Once they start hyping the buy, that gold, gold is going to keep going up and going up and going up. Then start selling. Uh, so you understand? Right now, gold looks like it's going to go up, keep going up. I'm expecting a pullback to somewhere around here. Or here, I mean, last week we did here. Price almost touched it last week, just a little bit. It was about 16 pips away before that price started moving. I was able to catch it somewhere around here when it was gone. It's all good. Uh, I think I caught it on this day actually when it did a pullback. So, um, what's gonna happen now is gold is most likely gonna pull back again somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where it's gonna go to, but the ideal scenario for me is wait and watch it on the 15 minute. And uh, I look for a buy entry and ideally where a support, there, there's a support line right there or uh, EMA showing right there and I get the entry, then you go back for a buy. And that's how I'm going to keep attacking gold. But I'm not going to go into gold until this date right here, 24th. And uh, right now that's uh, next week, Friday. No, yeah, next week, Friday, basically. Not this Friday coming, but the one after that. That'll be the next time to go into gold. I'm not going to try and sell gold. There's no point in me trying to sell gold. Matter of fact, I might take some profit off the table if I feel like it's going to pull, pull back higher and down. Mm -hmm. So I'll take that profit off the table and then just go back in for the final run. 
You understand? And I'll just hold from here all the way to the top. So if if anything, guys, gold seems to be going the way it's expected. And um, I would say only trade what you see that is going as expected. Remember, you check what it's been doing before. If it correlates with the current chart, that's when you validate the trade as well. So the steps, the steps are still the same. Let me just pull the steps out there. Check uh, for trade. So you have to check for your previous move. Check COT. Check seasonality. Uh, check uh, probability. Check. So, guys, this is it. This is just the five things we need to do. It doesn't matter. We keep doing these five things. It will go in your way. Not every time, but it will go in your way because the market is shaky at the moment. So it's not going to do it every time. But to avoid more losses, make sure you always check that previously on the seasonal market, prices moved in that direction. At least the previous five days has been in that direction. Then there's a possibility it's going to continue doing that. But even though we check all this four right here, if we miss this one step, there's a possibility that it's a high risk trade. So we we have to do the step as well. We do it in the past and it's working and it works for us. And right now it's going to work again. So with the gold, we can see gold is moving like the way we expect because we expect the gold to move up from the seventh, right? Let me check right here. What day is it? So on the seventh right here, gold moved up as expected. So now gold is consolidated, which uh, somewhere around, where is it now? So this is 12. So it did a pullback on the 12, I think, or 11, which that's what's expected in the five years. You understand? Right there, it's doing all of that stuff. They're not correlating anymore. So wait for the time that they correlate. I mean, around this date on the 21st, it seems like it's going to drop all three correlates, but I wouldn't take that trade. I'll wait for price to get here and make sure it pulls all the way down. Then you take that up trade. And I'm just going to be focusing on gold in this scenario. And um, uh, GBPCHF, which Kotlin already called, I'm going to check that out as well. I'm going to be uh, checking this out and trading this. So for this week, this will be the two trades that I will actually focus on. I wasn't planning on focusing on this, but this looks very sweet. And uh, uh, I want to take a, you know, a little bit of advantage, advantage of that. So I'm going to take that as well with gold. Okay, is there any questions? No? No, bro. No, no. Is everybody okay? I mean, how is everyone coping? Is the market been tough lately or has it been just smooth for everyone? Yes, tough. Very tough. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's very tough for me. Literally. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to say it's very, very tough. It's... It's different from before when you know that, okay, I can close my eyes, go, out, go in the market, and when I come back, I see some money. Right now, it's like you have to be second-guessing every move. I want you guys to know, you're not alone in this. It's not just us. My, my, money, management, money management is the key in this uh, situation market. Yeah, right now, you're correct, Shano, was 100%. Money management because because yeah. when when I see when I see the prediction of my analysis is not not, not correct then the trade get reversed yeah. so it, it it should be it should be as per my money management because I lose my two percent capital or three percent capital yeah and you're correct otherwise, otherwise if at all if at all I I keep I keep my predicting a, a good and the market reverse my whole account will be blown. Yeah. I mean, the only other option that I can see us doing now is if we play smart, we can start edging. But the, 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 the challenge with edging now is this. I know I've spoken about it a few times and I said I'm going to show you guys. The main reason I haven't literally thought edging is because if you do it wrong, your account is gone. One false move on edging, your account is gone. Yes, yes, yes. So that, that's why I'm very, very skeptical of teaching it. And I hardly edge. I edge sometimes, but I don't edge most of the times. And right now, you know, it's something that I think we might want to dive into a little bit. I don't know. 
if it's you know okay, something yeah. that everybody will be prepared to do because <laughs> a lot of us have our emotion tied with our money <laughs> when you're training so when you're edging and you're seeing double the loss that you're meant to see that might drive you nuts and then you might get paralyzed and don't know what to do uh, but I would look into it. Probably I'm gonna do that for next week. We're gonna talk about edging next week. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna um, touch on that. Uh, I'll, I'll put some stuff up, some materials up that's gonna help the edging, and hopefully okay. maybe we can get a. I can't say an indicator, but um, I'll find a strategy that we can use based on what we already learned before in the class. So it's gonna help us out a lot more with edging. So that way, at least you know that um, if you take a trade and if it's going wrong for you, if you come out with zero loss, that's still good. So it's just a matter of time. Then you start winning again. That means you never lost anything. All you got is winning. You might have lost some time, you know, taking the trade, but that's what it is. It's better than losing some money. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah in, in that case, uh, I'm still going to be trading gold, but not now. So I'm actually going to focus on the GBPCHF, just like Kotlin said. I'm still in this bowing, which is driving me nuts. Hopefully now that it's pulling back up, it does a gap to the upside and start tanking. That's what I'm hoping for. But if it doesn't, I will probably come out once price goes below here. Once price goes below here, about 100 and some pips, I can still hold that much. I doubt. Funny enough, it's not that heavy when you're trading this. So uh, if, you, if you're trading with 0 0.10, it's not really that heavy. It's about $10 or twenty dollars loss for this so that's what it is if it goes below here i'll just cancel this trade all out i'm not taking it but right now i'm checking on gold and i'm gonna check on gvpchf okay guys literally that sums it up for this week man and uh, if you guys have any questions just hit me up on a uh, telegram and then we'll take it from there okay thank you very much for attending guys and take care of yourself all right bye 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 bye, bye. Mm.